Hello friends, my name is Gishan and this is the continuation of my Spring Expression Language series of video tutorials. So in this video tutorial, uh, we are going to cover third point where we will learn how to access the static constants and how to invoke the static methods using expression, Spring Expression Language. So here is the Eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a Java project. So here I will give a spring el accessing static method. So click on the next and find it miss button. Now let's create a uh, package com dot info dot model and just create a class random number generator and in this class I'm going to declare private double random number and private double value of pi I would like to access from a static class and I will assign to this variable so just we have declared these two fields create corresponding setters and getters for these two fields that's it now let's create a, a configuration file XML configuration file give the file name pins.xml here I have copied uh, XML doc type from my existing example so here we can configure this bin bin id and class you can specify so here qualified name of class this and we can specify the id as random generator or i'm going to make a small now this class has some property right this class had some property so let's let's initialize this property using explain expression language so property value and this class contains two properties so copy this line once more now this class has a first random number second property is called something is called pi so in mathematics we have a pi now here here I'm going to make use of spring expression language so here I'm going to how to access the static method so t bracket java dot lang dot you will have to use math and dot I would like to access the random method that is a static method and here I would like to access a static variable so again t I will have to java dot lang dot math and dot pi so you can go to this class and here you can check we have a, a pi constant so this is a static variable so i'm trying to access and you have a, a random method that i'm trying to access so i have attached source code in my eclipse so that's why i will i'm able to see this api so that's all now let's create a client program Um, dot input dot client and I'll give the name as test and 
this client program has been made with it. And here let's create a application context. I think I haven't added a spring jars in my class path, so let's add library. So I have added a spring dependency in demo now. Application context So here we need to pass the R configuration file name. So that is beans.xml and here context.getbin There are a lot of related get bin method I'm going to use this one which takes first parameter as the bin ID and second parameter is the class name itself. So this gives us the okay so right click over here the property and change the compiler version for the Java here compiler version 1.7 now undoit it and here we got the random number generator correct pens here now we can make the call to its method so Directly we can print in SOP. Now get random number and next thing I'm going to print value for pi. So if I run it, cool. So successful loop, fully we have invoked, we have ran this class and we are getting the random number, this one and value of pi from this one. So let's run once more. So again we got the random number and value of the pi. So basically here you will have to understand how to access how to access the static method right. This is the way to access a static method. So basically we are accessing random method which is available in the math class right and whatever now random node is getting generated by this API that is getting assigned to this variable. Similarly, we are accessing the value of pi, which is available in the math class and assigning to the this is pi variable, which is available in the generator class. So that's all I have in this video tutorial guys. So <coughs> if you like my video, then please like and subscribe it. See you in next video tutorial.